hey you guys how's it going welcome back to the channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe so you can be notified when i go live or upload a new video and please like this video Important updates. Peace to the guys. Welcome, welcome everybody to the room. Come on in. We've got a few. I don't know if any of you guys can see this, but. Malia is not looking too hot again. This, this is the same as she's looked the last time before she went to the hospital. She was like very frail and weak looking and she kind of reminds me of that now. She looks really... Um, really like she's just not well. And as you can see, um, none of these wives look really healthy right now. They're not looking very good at all. Updates. Quick updates. We got a few quick updates. These are very important updates because, as y'all are aware, um, Chief is still in jail. Yeah. It's going on two years now. And so we want to give you guys an update on what's been going on. Mm -hmm. And it's not good. Mm -hmm. At the end of this live, we're going to be posting up... Um, Again, I hate to keep stopping this, but just... Keep an eye on Malia. She she looks like to me she's in some pain. I don't know. I, it could be just could be me. I don't know. Maybe she's all right. Maybe she's just upset over Nature Boy. But to me, she looks like she's in some pain. Numbers for everyone to call. We need everyone's help on this. Because now it's 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 a very crucial time right now yeah. because his life is in jeopardy. It's in danger. It's in his danger. life is in danger right now. So we need for everybody to come together and to pull together all of our resources in order to help him. He's now since his last bond hearing on November third, yeah. he's been in the hole, which is what they call administrative segregation. Okay. If he's been in the hole, how do you know that he's in trouble? How do you know? I mean, if he's not, because if he's still not able to make contact with anybody and he's in, you know, he's in segregation, even if somebody came out of there and was to inform you about his condition they wouldn't even know about his condition because every he's in what segregation right so how would they know how how do you know what his conditions are right now It's the whole 24 hour lockdown. He can't get his commissary. They don't let him get books anymore. They don't even let us allow him to get pictures anymore. We don't know if he's getting water, food. At what time is he getting food? Because he's all the way on the eighth floor. That's the yeah. highest level in the DeKalb County Jail. 24 yes. hour lockdown. It's freezing cold in there all the time. Now, but whose fault is this? You guys know if you wouldn't have been th flying that drone over into a, a jail, across the fence, over the fence, I don't believe that he, I don't know, maybe he would be because he's always a troublemaker. So who knows? But I think at this point, 
you know, they have to keep him under some kind of lockdown or segregation because he just cannot follow the rules. And it's plain to see that the wives cannot follow the rules either. You know, when you're in jail, you're in jail. That don't mean you get a you get to ha get a cell phone, you get to get a box full of little goodies, whatever it is that you guys were trying to get into him. No, that means he is in jail. He needs to sit there and wait it out. And maybe if you guys had just chilled out and stayed offline and not been trying to break the law, allegedly, then maybe he would still be able to have visits with you guys. I don't know. But in my opinion, I don't think that you guys needed visits with him. I think that since the moment he got locked up, they should have cut off, cut off all contact at that point. And Malia just, I, I can't stop talking about this. She just looks like she cannot stand up there, sit up there. She is like just sitting there and, and it's like hard for her to sit up. Oh, we have been getting reports anonymously that the plumbing there is not working in the Camp County Jail. So they sticking these inmates in there. They're sticking Chief in there, in this cell for 24 hours with no plumbing. No running water. It's cold. No running water. They don't give them drinking water. Mm -hmm. This is a state of emergency. Yes. Because you cannot, you cannot treat somebody like this. This is a violation of his human right. Human. Okay? You cannot have somebody in there and not give them water. You cannot have somebody stuck in a room and not have a toilet running, flushing. Plumbing. Okay? So this, everybody, I'm just trying to stress the situation that this, this has been going on way too long, okay? You cannot just take these people and throw them in here and do whatever you want to do. They haven't, he hasn't even been convicted of a crime. No. He has human rights. You Why is his rights. human rights being violated Like he right committed now. a crime or something. He is being violated. He's not even being treated as a human being. A human. Decency with, with respect. All of that stripped away because you don't like what he says on a public platform. Mm. And he's not, not being charged with nothing. Here we go with Mouthy Zoka. And she don't even look good either. I don't know what's going on with her either. That is right. That's inhumane. It is inhumane. And we just found out that recently, a couple of days ago, someone died in the DeKalb County Jail. Yep. So that is why we are coming on here to let everybody know the importance of you guys helping us check on him. Yes. We are going to yes. post at the end of this download, we are going to post phone numbers so that you can go call, to call jail. in and check on them. You can call and keep in in contact with us mm -hmm. and we can work together we to, have to free him. We every hour, to. call every hour. Every I don't day. Care you can call every hour for a day, every day because you know, we gotta we gotta work together as a people. We do. We cannot just let this go inside and let four women try to help an innocent black man. We need Does Malia just not allow to speak? She just sits there, shakes her head like she's in pain and she just needs to lay back down or I mean, do they make her get up long enough to do this video? I don't understand this. You know, they're all three of them talking. But the only one that's not talking is Malia. But she's sitting there shaking her head in agree agreeance. But she just looks she looks like she's in extreme amounts of pain. And these ladies, I don't know, they better probably maybe get her checked out i i don't know she does not look healthy to me she does not look okay but this is just my opinion and 
I don't know. Look at them. Every one of them. Not one of them looks okay. But Malia looks really bad. Like she looks like she's just sitting there and she's just trying to make it through. You know, this video. But she doesn't speak. To collectively come together yes. and fight for what's right. Because this can be you yes. in a situation like this. You'll be like, oh my God, please help, help me. me. Yeah. Yes. Help. Help. Y'all want to say, you want to help people, but y'all wait till they dead. No help while he living. Yeah. Help now. His yes. life is in jeopardy. His life is in danger. Yes. We do not trust these people that is... Bringing him food, bringing him water. Mm -hmm. We don't know who these people are. Mm -hmm. They can have a vendetta. Vendet these are the people that are over that jail who is responsible for the food. And I don't think anybody just is going to go out of their way to do anything about Nature Boy because they just, I don't think they care enough. I mean, I don't think he's that much of an issue for anybody right now. For them to care enough to really want to do anything to him. But hey, that's just my opinion. Against him. Yes. And since we we have been out on social media so much, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what type of uh, bias or animosity that anybody has towards us. Yes. So for anybody to come on here and help us that would be great because yeah. we need help with anybody who knows anything about when their human rights have been violated who to call who to call Something. who do we contact what kind of paperwork do we need to put in all of that is needed yes and we're going to be doing the research on our end but we also are reaching out for your help yes please. Yes, we can make a group chat. Anybody interested? We have to be adamant and we have to be consistent and make checking on him and making sure he can at least get moved and just making sure that he's being taken care of. Yes, because we don't know. We don't know what's going on in there. They barely do the what. They barely check up on him. Okay, and just are you seeing her? Like that's not tears. That's sweat. She's sweating, sitting there. Like, that's how much pain she looks like she could be in. Just for the simple fact of the conditions up there in this jail, there are people protesting outside. Yes. For the conditions that these people are suffering from in this jail. Why are so many people dying in the Cal County Jail? Yes, somebody died because they don't check on them. They don't check on them. People who have medical conditions, they don't go and check on them. Especially if you're in administrative segregation, you're in there 24 hours. No one's coming up there. No check one's on coming you. to check on you. No oh. one's. He yeah. doesn't eat. You can't sleep. It's freezing, freezing in there. It's freezing cold. And when you don't, ha when you got everything stripped away from you, it's like it, it, you're be being tortured in there. Yeah. So please, everybody, if you have any advice or we need help, we need help. Have a heart. Do you have a heart? Do you have a heart? We need help. We need help. He ain't do nothing bad at all for you to think he should die in a fucking cell. Mm. Help! Hmm. This could be you! He ain't do nothing to deserve this! What is going... I think what happened is they saw him on TV. And he's... Because he just went to court again. And he's looking a little skinny, well, a whole lot skinny, in my opinion. And they probably are making up all of this stuff in their head, thinking, oh, they're not feeding him. He's not getting water. He's not getting food. And they're probably driving themselves crazy a little bit, you know, crazy over just overthinking this thing. And... 
These women need to go on. They need to move on. Let that man sit there. And do what he needs to do. You don't come out here and call yourself a God or call yourself God and then think that God is not going to put an end to that. And now I don't know. What do they do? Change change the religion I don't know because they're all wearing uh, what Muslims wear or is this just a show I don't know but this is the saddest thing about all this is that these four women the women that have been the most loyal to him, the ones that have stood by him through thick and thin, and still, two years later, that he's been gone, they're still sticking by him. And they talk about, you don't do an animal this way. But he's done them worse than what you could ever think to do to an animal. And they still defend him. Forgiving for yourself is one thing, but to continuously defend a person who has went out of their way to do nothing but hurt you that is inhumane that that is towards yourself have do these women not have any self respect at this point 2 years later I think they probably went out of their way to make sure that they're doing this. Maybe even to keep these women away from him. And they still are so... They have, Somebody has to still be there that's running the show to keep his voice going in the background. To keep them still under this type of programming. There has to be. I don't know which one it is, which one of those males it is, but there's somebody there that's playing his voice in the background. They're not making sure that these women are taken care of, obviously, because they're so worried about him, but they're not even, they, they don't even, they're not even concerned at all. And they all look bad, but they're not even concerned about this girl sitting right next to him, Malia. He look, who looks, once again, pitiful. Like maybe uh, she she's like a, a few steps away from a hospital. This is like, for me, it's like, uh, it's like history repeating itself. That day she was sitting on the couch and they were all laughing at her about how, how bad she smelled. And, and Nature Boy made fun of her and said, ooh, she, she stinks. It's because her insides were so bad.
And, and she, she, she looks, I don't know. But what can, what can you do? There's not a thing you can do. Because these women will not leave. And Malia, she don't even, not only does she look like she's in some pain, but she looks a little scared about something. And I could be wrong. Call them, please. Please call them. And if call. you, anybody, if you know any way to get them out, if you know someone whose human rights have been violated, or you know somebody, your family, relative. She's crying now. She's crying. Anybody who has been locked up in jail and they have been withhold food, water, anything. There's a lot of people in there that come out of there and say that they don't give us water. Hmm. Water. It is very essential, the, the human rights that are being stripped away from you. And people are in the comments saying that this is jail. Yes, it is jail, but you are still a human. Mm -hmm. You still have rights. You still have to eat. You still have to drink. That's, you being in jail doesn't mean that people take that stuff away from you. You're sitting there awaiting a trial. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're not innocent. You're not guilty. But still, you're you're being put in there and treated as if you are guilty and everything being taken away from you as if you are and it is not fair and it is a violation and we are going to fight mm -hmm. to get this message heard yes these updates are very important yes because the state of his health is very critical did y'all see him at i know y'all saw the news clip of him in that court yeah Y'all seen how he lost skinny a lot he's of weight. He lost a lot. The of meals weight. that they get, they say they get three meals a day. No, they don't. That's not enough meals to feed that grown man. That ain't nothing to to satisfy him and give him the nurturance he needs to even keep on moving. You miss a couple of meals. See how you feel. You sleep with no blanket tonight. See how you feel. Get off your phone. See how that feels. Mm -hmm. yes. Everything stripped away from you. Yes. Everything. And people, when when people get locked up, a lot of people just forget about them. And we can't forget. We can't forget about Chief. Everything that he done, we have to be there. That's why we have this platform. We have to stick together. We have to work together. They try to put a gag order out on us. Why nobody else is speaking up? We can call up there. Yes. So please contact us. You know, I know that when we were previously on social media, everybody was involved. Still be involved. Yes. We still have the same contact information. Yes, yes. Reach out to us. We are here. And we'll do the same. We'll reach out to you. Yeah. But right now, we need all of the help that we can get. Because an innocent man is behind bars whose human rights is being violated. And if anybody who has been in there, they know they have similar stories of these things going on. Similar things of these jails. A lot of them are being closed down and investigated. The man died from... Jail is not a carnival. It's not a picnic. And yes, sometimes when, when some people go to jail, they're forgotten. But you guys need to do just that. You need to go on and forget him. He needs to learn his lesson. He needs to pay. For any and all crimes that he's committed. And then when he gets out, 
He needs to try to be a better man, get a job, take care of the kids he has, if, if they're not grown by then. And if they are, try to try to reestablish any relationship he can with them. Because while while he was with people he had no business being with, instead of trying to be a father and, and being a working man to take care of his kids, he was out here trying to act like he's some god. And trying to be served as a god. And his children got neglected somewhere along the lines. He needs to be a normal person when he gets out. You guys, they have no business be, to be with him, and he has no business to be with them. If he had any decency at all, he needs to tell them to go on, leave him, go, and be have a life. And they've been Hanging behind him for two years. For, for two years. Waiting on a man. That has done nothing but hurt them. A bed bug infestation. He got bit to death by bed bugs. You know, a man died from not being seen for medical attention. People have problems that they are being ignored in there. You can't throw, you can't do that to somebody. You can't throw them in there in a cell and just leave them in there to die. It's inhumane. People don't even treat animals like that. Mm -mm. How do you fight for animal rights, but you don't fight for your own? How do you fight for a man who treated you worse than an animal? How? How do you f keep fighting and holding on for a man that has done nothing for you but hurt you time and time and time and time again? Now, this is getting to be too much. It, two years is a long time. He's not out yet. He's not going to be out yet from what I can see. You need to move on with yourself. All of you. And on the way to trying to move on with yourselves and to try to start a new life, maybe get married and have children of your own, take, take a detour, take Malia over to the hospital so she can get a checkup. kind for human rights nobody stands up for what for one another what kind of world is this that's how separated we have become as a people that we have become so callous or so disconnected from the pain of our brothers and sisters yes. that we just ignore or turn a blind eye because it's not happening to us but it is happening to you it is, it is happening to you and we have to stand up for this. Yeah. So any everybody who knows us, reach out to us. Because we need all of the help and all of the information that y'all know about what's going on. Yes. And so those are the updates that we have. Mm -hmm. You know, his human rights are being violated. And many... She can't even hardly sit up there. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Please leave in the comment section. Let me know what, what you think is going on with Malia. What you think is going on with these women. They they don't look healthy. Uh, look at Zoka's eyes. You look at her. Uh, 
Oh, something weird is going on with these ladies. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know. I don't know. Leave in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. God bless.